Dr. Sheila Farhang, welcome to DVL. Thank you so much for having me. So you are a skincare expert and we wanna know what is your philosophy and approach to skincare? Sure, so it may sound a little cliche, but my philosophy is keep it simple and focus on the essentials. I do it for myself and my patients. And another thing is to stay consistent. Consistency is key and so many of us follow all these Hollywood trends and I know that you know all the next upcoming trends. So what are they? Sure, so it's really interesting. Um, recently, we've actually been going back in time to more of the natural plant-based products that have been around for years and years, more of the Ayurvedic type medicine. And there are a couple kind of buzz trending products. Uh, one of them actually being Bakuchiol. Bakuchiol is a good plant-based retinol. Nothing wrong with retinol, love my retinol, but sometimes in some people it can be a little irritating and sensitive skin. So Bakuchiol is, has been shown to be equally effective without those side effects. Another thing that I've been seeing is anti-pollution. It really is antioxidants, improving the skin barrier, and sun protection. And so we've gotten a little bit more fancy with the antioxidants. So we'll see a lot of the uh, skin pollution, anti-pollution type of skincare products more in the future as well. Now you know, and everyone knows, anti-aging is huge. So what's the latest in anti-aging? Another skincare product that's uh, anti-aging is actually um, microbiome. So everyone is thinking about microbiome. We've been doing it for our gut. So we wanna think, you know, the pre and probiotics. And so we're using this for the skin now too. Um, really, we have gotta balance the good and bad bacteria and target some of the good ones coming out. Now, how do you keep your skin so radiant and beautiful? What are your secrets? Some of the things that are kind of trendy in Hollywood is also jade rollers and, and gua sha, like skincare tools. So using those cold tools decreases the um, swelling in the face, the mechanical movement actually decreases the swelling in the face, and then it actually increases blood flow to the face, so that's a kind of an anti-aging effect. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Sheila Farhang. I have a lot of work to do. I'm taking all of your tips. Thanks for joining us. Of course.